Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. It's a cold, wet, rainy day here in South Georgia, a little different for us, so I thought it would be a good day for me to go ahead and do this video and show you this journal. This digital on the cover is from Taylor Made Journals. Um, Lorna Taylor did a little shout out to see if anyone would like to use some of her digitals, and she let you pick a couple. And I picked this one, and it's Into the Woods JJ Kit. And then also she sent me um, Vintage Botanicals. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Um, the fabric that I used, if you know me, I have tons and tons of upholstery fabric. So this fabric is a little chunkier, but I tell you, it feels good. It feels like it ought to be like moss or something that is in the woods. So that was great. And then this is just plain old gauze that came from the hospital. Um, you know, they give you that pack of all the extra. Excuse me there, a little crumb. And um, so I coffee stained it. These are actually some pine sticks that I hope stand the test of time from my yard. And this is just an old plastic kind of flowery leaf that actually had fuzzies on it. Took it off of something, don't even remember, but for some reason, you know how we are, I held on to it. And then this is one of my leather book plates. I do sell these in my Etsy shop. And then, of course, I just did the word journal behind it. So let's get started here. Um, you know I had been collecting buttons. I have uh, sorted, and oh my lord, let's not talk about buttons. So I just did a little flower here. And then this is a die cut out of one of the Tim Holtz, uh, I think it's Long Stems or something it's called. So this is actually out of like a little satiny fabric. And then just some regular old paper and I got some tucks. This is some more upholstery fabric sample on a book page. Now this is one of Taylor Made Journal Digitals. Is that the same one? Yeah, that's the same one I actually used on the cover. And what I like to do with my digitals is I like to do them two-sided. I go ahead and... and um, pick out two of my images and then that way I don't know I just like to do it that way and one reason is because I have an inkjet in case you don't know this um, inkjets are not good for coffee staining after they've been printed you can run coffee stained paper through the inkjet but inkjet is not color fast if you have a laser printer you stand a whole lot better chance of keeping your image so some coffee stained paper with a little rub on and then just some other embellishments. Now this is, um, I think, one of her digitals. I was going to see if I could find. I um, Here are some that I did not use. Um, as you can see, there's a wide assortment. She gives you tags and tickets. And these are folders. Um, so that's one of the digitals. And here's another little um, ticket. And then here's a ticket. And I put it down in a, a cellophane bag that I had coffee stained with um, a, a collage piece that I had for a while back. And this is actually some tree bark out of my yard that I had put in a book and had kept it flat. I didn't make this one in time. <laughs> it, it, if I go to put it in here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fall apart. Another digital from um, Taylor Made Journals. And then just some more things. Now this one is from her um, digital kit called Vintage Botanicals. And there's a ton of images. And again, I do them two-sided. There's a ton of images like that. Here's some of my blueprints that I have blueprints in my Etsy shop. And yeah, they are a little expensive for shipping because of the shape of them. I try to give you a good value for what um, you spend. But the shipping, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have much control over that. But another digital. Aren't they cool? And while we're talking about the these, I just want to show you real quick. I printed out this page of hers, and look, all the way to the edge on my printer. I was so excited. I never realized it had done. It would do that. And this is the other half to the um, the cover. So, yeah, excited. And then this is just again some book pages. I die cut. Um, some flowers and stuff out. I like to do my middle page a lot of times as coloring book pages just so you have something to doodle. This is I uh, some dye that came from Ellison before I think Sizzix became popular. I've had it forever. So I put an old vintage picture in there. 
There's my owl that I use from time to time. Um, and then here's some more of the digitals. And here I use this digital as a little tag. Another digital um, from the Vintage Botanicals number two. And then just some more book pages. Here's another digital um, from the Into the Woods. And then here I just took a coffee filter and of course put it in quarters and then just put all kinds of little ditties in it. This is um, one of Lorna's tags and I left it blank on the back side so you'd have a place to scribble. And here's one of her tickets. <clears throat> and there's one of her folders, another one that I used as a tag. Here's some more of her digitals. And then again, this is just some cloth that I had. Um, let's see here. Let's keep on rocking on just so you can see. So that's the first signature. And then some more book pages. Here's another digital where it's like she, um, what is it called when they do the, I, I, I went brain dead right now, eco dying. There you go. Kind of the background. And then just some more book pages and stationery and stuff that I had. This is hers. I, I took the um, big pages and made them smaller where I think I put four up on a page. So now this is like a little writing spot to hide, you know, an old book page where you can't do anything. This is one of her um, vintage botanicals. And again, this is just using what I have. Um, and here's another little tuck thing. And this I got from someone and just, you know, plopping it in here. Some fabric that I had made a big old tag and die cut some flowers. I love those thick dies. Um, they cut fabric, they cut chipboard, they cut all kinds of stuff. Those little thin flat ones are not always the best at cutting some of that chunky stuff. Um, so, yeah, if you if you ever get a chance to buy any of those big dies, do it. Especially, like I said, for fabric and stuff. This was it. the other half of the digitals there. Um, here's a card on a book page. Just another little tuck thing. Um, whoops, missed that page. This was stationary. Here's another digital from Taylor Made Journals. And I know I'm rocking and rolling, but um, I like to go through these fast. Um, some more um, vintage botanicals, number two. And then these are book pages where I just kept the whole little slit that tells you about that. And then there's one also on the back side. And I uh, picked out two out of a book and um, used those. I thought that was cute. And then here we go, um, another um, page out of the um, Into the Woods JJ kit, two-sided, of course. And here's one of her tickets, book page. And then we're into the third signature now. So here's some more of her um, pieces. This is wallpaper. I've had this wallpaper a really long time and never quite knew what to do with it. So just a music sheet. And then these are some of her tickets that I um, just tucked in here and I left them blank on the back side in case you want to hide a little note. That's um, one of her book pages again that I made small and used it as a tab and then here's the center <clears throat> and then this is uh, there's the back of the wallpaper, some book pages, some old forms. This is the eco dyeing from um, her Into the Woods JJ kit and just a place to write. Here's some more of the eco dyeing paper that she gives you in the kit. And her vintage botanicals, number two, on both sides, dictionary, and ta-da. And then just a little tag that someone had given me, and one of her tickets fit into it perfectly. And the tag already happened to have a mushroom on it. So that is that. But I do want to show you, I printed out some other stuff just kind of to, um, to have. And here's some of her tags. I don't remember if I actually used any of the tags in the in the book or not. Um, I've had a lot going on with some retreats and stuff like that. So here's one of the folders. Um, this one you can cut out. Here's another um, folder. And then here we go with some tickets and such. I mean, really, go. I will put the link down below for Taylor Made Journals to check out her Etsy shop. She has all kinds of stuff. And, um, and I'm sure you can find something in there. And this by no means is even all the digitals that came in these kits. I, uh, I didn't print everything out. So I didn't use everything. <clears throat> but I did just want you to see that. And um, so I hope you enjoyed my little quick run through. And give Lorna a shout out.
and go see what she has and what she's up to. And I do appreciate you coming by to check out my channel. I put up a video, hopefully every Tuesday evening, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can find me on Facebook. I have a group and a page and, of course, my own private one. I'm on Instagram, Twitter. I have a small Etsy shop that I've been trying to work on a little bit. Um, I did find out my link didn't work right the other day. So I've got that fixed again. So um, go check it out. I've got some blueprints and some little journal things in there. Um, and I guess that's it. That's everything in a nutshell. So I do appreciate you coming by. And please be careful out there. And I'll see you down the road. Behave. Bye.